Hello, today we are up for another short but nerdy video and we are going to talk about the consumption, the efficiency of the Ionic EV at different speeds. Okay, so we are using loads of data gathered over time using CAN Ionic. It's an app that connects to the car and reads loads of the information coming from the car. Right, so we've done about 2000 kilometers and recorded for those 2000 kilometers we've consumed about 250 kilowatt hours so you can see it's quite a chunky amount of data we've got here and for all of uh, those uh, journeys because of course it's on multiple journeys uh, we add up the distance covered at different speed tiers and we also add up the amount of watt hours consumed now that will give us for given speeds how much is the watt hours per kilometer and of course we can also do that for miles per hour on the speeds and miles per kilowatt hours on the consumption all right let's go over to the graphs now so what do we have well surprisingly i mean that i had not quite gathered the consumption is quite high at the low speeds and i think it has to do with essentially starting the car from um, still to reaching the 20 30 kilometers an hour but very soon when you are at 30 kilometers an hour you are at a bit of a plateau around 100 watt hours per kilometers now interestingly you can see that the what seems to be the most efficient speed is 50 kilometers an hour Right, so we've got good data here that shows that yeah well it's kind of a plateau but if i had to pick the most efficient speed it seems to be around 50 kilometers an hour we can see a rise of that consumption as the speed grows at 90 kilometers an hour our reg is just 116 watt hours per kilometer that's very efficient that's very good and then by 110 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit for the UK, we are at 146 watt hours per kilometer, which is still very good. Now you can see that that curve would carry on. Uh, I don't have that much data from French motorways where you can go all the way to 130 uh, kilometers an hour, but you can expect that this is going to carry on and grow quite a bit, probably in the 160, 170. Um, and that's what the curve seems to be showing all right now if you prefer the imperial system this is what the curve looks like of course it's a bit of a, a flipped curve where the peak is at 6.8 miles per kilowatt hours which is truly amazing and again it's at about 30 miles per hour at motorway speeds of 70 miles per hour you're reaching the 4.2 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour and that is very useful to know what to expect 4.8 being a classic expectation when it comes to motorway speeds because of course you're not always at the speed limit right so this is just if you were to drive always at those particular speeds so 4.8 is probably a good expectation both probably in winter and in spring and maybe summer as well in terms of what to expect on a uk motorway with an average of 60 miles per hour and of course if you're going to drive and and combine this with some urban semi-urban this is going to improve further right so hopefully you can find that this graph is useful because it gives you an expectation it doesn't give you the variance and of course there will be uh, changes compared to this this is just an average but hopefully that gives you a good sense of the curve of efficiency versus the speeds for the ionic ev thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you next time